Hey guys, welcome back. Today's video is going to be on yielding isometrics. If you're not too sure what an isometric is, then I recommend going back and watching the types of muscle contractions video. I'll link that up here. So watch that first and then come back to this one. Okay? So we've also done another video which will complement this one on overcoming isometrics. If you want to check that out, I'll link that up here as well. Okay? So what a yielding isometric is, is you're basically you're succumbing or yielding to an external force. Okay, so you're in a position and you're trying to resist the weight taking you deeper into a position. Okay, so on this, again, I'm going to show you four different exercises, two for the upper body and two for the lower body. So we've got a push for the upper body, a pull for the upper body, a push for the lower body, and a pull for the lower body. Okay, so we're going to get straight into it. So we're going to start with the uh, lower body for the push. Okay, so for this, we're just going to be using a kettlebell. This is going to be our external um, force, okay, or our external resistance, which we're trying to resist against. Okay, so we're going to use this in all of them. So for this one, just bombs up the kettlebell, and we're going to come down into a split squat position. So from here, come down into the bottom of your split squat, and you're just going to hold this position here, okay? So that's essentially going to be it. So for the, uh, yielding, for the yielding isometrics, these are great for kind of getting people into certain positions or patterns. So if you can't feel a certain muscle or you, can't, or you find trouble getting into a position, then these are a great way to learn those positions. Okay? Next is gonna be for the pull, so the, so the back of the leg. So from here, take, well this is the left leg is gonna be the stance leg, hold the weight in the right hand, and you're just gonna do a one leg RDL, hinge over, and you're gonna hold this position. Okay, so the yielding, you are, the weight is just trying to pull you down, but you're just preventing this with an isometric force. Okay, so for these, for these, because you want to be in these uh, positions a lot longer, because you're trying to learn these postures, go from like 60 to 90 seconds, if you can. Okay, so try and build up to that. So you want to be in these positions for quite some time. Okay, so, for, so that's the lower body. For the upper body, we're going to start with a push. So we're coming to a press. So we're going to come into a floor press, lie on the floor. Wrap the kettlebell up, so from here, bring the kettlebell down to the required position, wherever you feel is comfortable, and just hold this position. So this is going to be the position for the press. Okay, so again, hold as long as you can, get up 60, 90 seconds. And for the, for the pull, for the back, we're just going to do a one arm row. So from here, stand up, hinge over, pull the shoulder blade up round the back and you're just going to squeeze the muscles in this position. So just hold, hold, hold. Okay, so the yielding isometrics are really good for beginners, for really good for learning certain positions and postures. Okay? Cheers, guys.